All right. Today we're going to do a paper three question about isotopes and radioactive decay. If you have not watched the video review on alpha decay and beta decay um, reactions, please go watch those before you finish watching this. Okay, so if you're still here, then I assume that you have watched those videos and you're familiar with what happens during alpha decay and familiar with what happens during beta decay. All right, so this question says, the figure shows a radioactive decay series, nuclear, the nucleus A decays to nucleus B, and in successive stages to nucleus B, whose proton number, number of protons is 90, and nucleon number, number of neutrons and protons is 230, okay? And then we have a series of questions that we're gonna use the graph to answer. Before we get to those questions, there's some vocabulary you wanna make sure that you know, okay? So you see the word nucleon there, and you might be like, well, what is that? I was taught proton or atomic number and mass number, okay? Nucleon number means the same thing as mass number, okay? Which is the total number of protons and neutrons. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Second thing, you wanna make sure that you know what the word isotope means, okay? And that's two atoms that have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons, i.e. proton number or atomic number is the same, but mass number is different, okay? So let's keep that as a little note to ourselves over here as we go through this question. All right, so part A says, how many neutrons are contained in nucleus A? Okay, how many neutrons? So in order to find the number of neutrons, we need to find out how many protons are in neutron nucleus A. A number of protons, and we need to know the number, the mass number, okay? I.e. the number of nucleons. And we can read that from the graph. So for nucleus A, it has a nucleon number of 238. Let's switch these out. Nucleon number of 238 and a proton number of 92. Remember the nucleon number is the total number of protons and neutrons and the proton number is protons only. So we have to subtract the number of nucleons. So take away the protons and what's left over is the number of neutrons, okay? So number of neutrons, when we subtract that, we're gonna get, I'll give you a minute to calculate it. And you should get 229, okay? 229, 229 neutrons, all right? Two points for that, okay? So a point for knowing how to identify all of these, this information, knowing that relationship and for actually processing, for doing the calculation. Part B says, what is the nucleon number of nucleus E? Okay, so nucleus E is here, and we're gonna go over to the y-axis to read off the nucleon number, and that's 230, okay? That means it has a total 
all of the protons and neutrons together add up to 230. Part C. Now here is where you need to have watched those videos on alpha decay and beta decay. If you have not done that yet, before you attempt to answer C, go and do that. Okay, so name the radiation, the type of radiation emitted in these changes. So from B to C, what you need to notice is how the nucleon number changes and how the proton number changes because there are very specific changes that occur in each type of decay, okay? So let's write down what those changes are. And then we're gonna get the information from the graph. So the two types of decay that we're looking to see if that's happening, three types actually. First is alpha decay, okay? So alpha decay, we're gonna have the nucleon number or the mass number decrease by four and the proton number decrease by two, okay? That's what happens in the first type of decay. If it's alpha decay, that's what we expect to see. If it's beta decay, we expect the mass number or the nucleon number to remain constant, okay? No change in the nucleon number happens during beta decay but there is a change in the proton number. The proton number increases by one, okay? Plus one. And then the last type, if it's gamma radiation, then we're gonna see the nucleon number remain constant and the proton number also remains constant. There's no change in either because no particles are emitted, just pure energy, okay? So let's check out what's happening in B to C and then D to E, consult those characteristics and identify the type of radiation. All right, B to C, we see that initially, the nucleon number is 234, and then at C, okay, no change, 234, okay? So B to C, nucleon number 234 to 234, no change, okay? So that means that alpha is out. So it's between beta and gamma. Let's look at what change happens with the proton number. Proton number, initially at B it was 90, at C it's 91. So that's an increase. Proton number went from 90 to 91. Plus one, increase by one. So which one fits the description? Beta decay, nucleon number remains constant, proton increases by one. So this is beta decay, or beta radiation is what they act as, the type of radiation. This is beta radiation. Okay. All right, I'm gonna copy this for D to E. All right. D to E. Nucleon number is originally 234 and it changes to 230. Okay, so that's a decrease in the nucleon number. So it went from 234 to 230. That's four less. So decreased by four. What about the proton number? D to E, proton number originally 92. At E, it's 90. So from 92 to 90, 
that's a decrease by two. That fits the description of alpha decay. Okay. All right. And last question for this video. Nucleus D and another nucleus form atoms, which are isotopes. Okay, remember what the word isotope means? Isotopes are two atoms that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons, okay? So the proton number is the same. So on this graph, we're looking for another atom, so A, B, C, D, or E, that has the same number of protons, same proton number as D. Which one fits that description? D has a proton number of 92, and the only other atom that has that proton number as well is atom A. So that is our isotope. So atom D and A form isotopes. All right. And so you've earned yourself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points so far. This is a paper three question. This is one of the options. And so the next part of the paper, these are out of 20 points. So we have 14 points to go. And you guessed it, the next part is going to give us a chance to showcase our graphing skills. So next video, I will do that part with you. All right. Bye-bye.